undefeated WBO world champion and top 10 pound for pound fighter Timothy the Desert Storm Bradley is taking on undefeated contender Carlos. I'm trying to say it like one of those boxing I, I, guys. You're good, getting huh? into yeah. it. I'm, Get a part-time gig there at the casino. Uh, contender Carlos Abreu, the fight is tomorrow night, and it's here in the Valley. And today, the boxers had their official weigh-in. The show at Agua Caliente Resort Casino in Ranch Mirage is hosting the Saturday afternoon bout that will be broadcast on HBO. First on the scale is Tim Bradley. The weight is 147. 146 and a half, Carlos Abreu. 146 and a half. The desert has been home to many top boxers, but few are like Timothy Bradley. Born and raised right here in the Coachella Valley, the desert storm is truly a force of nature. We sat down with the champ to learn a little more about the man inside the warrior. Tim Bradley remembers the first time he set foot in the Palm Springs Boxing Club when he was just 10 years old. And as I walked in the gym, it would like had all these pictures of like boxers, kind of like this, posters and, and pictures of, you know, memorabilia of, of boxers, fighters and world champions. I was amazed looking at all of this and, you know, thinking like these guys are fighters. 17 years later, two world championship titles, an undefeated record of 26 and 0 and 11 knockouts Bradley is one of boxing's biggest stars. I was a little boy and I dreamt it and now I'm living in my dream and now my poster's on the wall. And he is hungry for more. You know, now I want to become pound for pound number one in the world and possibly one of the greatest fighters ever laced up the glove. Look at the champ! Crashing overhead right. Growing up in North Palm Springs, Tim Bradley was born to be a fighter. I used to play around with him when he was like five years old. Put him in like a body lock. And he didn't like that. And he like, real strong, like, oh my goodness. He got the genes. <laughs> Went down to the gym after begging my dad for about two months. Finally took me to the gym and I never looked back. It didn't take long for Tim to catch the boxing bug. Before I went to school, middle school, I had to run in the morning, you know, and then right after school, I had to go to boxing training and come home and do my homework and then, you know, take a shower, eat, go to bed, you know, and that was like six days a week. He learned early on to ignore the critics. A lot of people say that I don't have power, that, you know, uh, that I'm too short for my weight class, that I'll never become, I'll never make it world champion. I allowed all those things to motivate me, and that's why I'm the beast I am today. <laughs> That hard work and dedication stayed with him. Tim trains up to three and a half hours a day, six days a week when he's prepping for a fight, and that doesn't count the running. Tim is known to run up to 22 miles after a full workout in the gym. Woo! I always have that fear of being knocked down because there's always somebody up there, out there that's working hard, just as hard as you, that want to take you out. Joel Diaz has been his coach and close friend since Tim turned pro five years ago. It's hard to find fighters that work as hard as Tim Bradley. That's what makes him the type of fighter he is. 138 pounds. Tim looks intimidating, but he is known more for his mental toughness. He says he has won many fights before he sets foot in the ring. It's a stare down. You know, I could just read guys right from the, right from the start. You know, I look into their eyes, and if they just glance away just a little bit, you know, I know I got them. Right hand in the champion's down. In the ring, Tim is a force of nature. But when the gloves come off, he walks the walk of a hometown hero. I'm not willing to sell myself out for this game, you know, and I just want people to just say that, you know what, that was a, he was a great fighter and a great, a great man. As one of the best boxers in the world, Bradley could have had his pick of the finest training facilities in the country. Instead, he chooses to come here to the Indio Boys and Girls Club. It's my boxing family, you know. Everybody's here, you know, just encouraging you. Tim's dad, Tim Bradley Sr., a security guard at Cathedral City High School, is by his son's side 
at all of his fights and training sessions. Well, I know when he's slacking, and lately he ain't been slacking. He's been hard at it. And then he just keeps reminding me and keeps telling me, hey, you can't do this, you can't do that, you gotta be like this, you gotta be like that. Tim also trains alongside the youngest generation of fighters. And when I saw champions, you know, like De La Hoya and all these guys, you know, it was just, hey, can I have an autograph? And that was it. And I always wondered, like, how many miles did you run? You know, uh, what did you eat before your fights? Uh, how many days do you train? How many hours do you spar? Like, I've always wondered that, you know, and that's why I'm always just free to give out information, and people's like, man, you can't be sharing your secrets, but I'm like, you know what? It's for the kids. He's become uh, a role model to all these kids. They come in here, and they all want to be like Tim Bradley. Tim knows boxing is not a lifetime sport. The clock is ticking the moment he enters the ring, and Bradley is all business. I'm just, I'm just zoned out, zoned out. I'm ready to take care of business. It's zone, it's a fight. Hey, his family gonna eat, or my family's gonna eat, and I know my family's gonna eat tonight. And this Saturday, July 17th, get ready to rumble as Tim the Desert Storm Bradley takes on Carlos Abregu. Events start at 3.30 in the afternoon at the show at the Agua Caliente Resort Casino in Rancho Mirage. And tickets are still available at the box office.